Hey guys, so look what I got in the mail today. I got the Good and the Beautiful Math 3. This is their new math. We have never used this math before. We've used the older math. Um, we really didn't care for the older math as much, um, but I've heard really good things about the updated version. And so um, this is what we're going to be using this year. So this is the first time that I flipped through this and I figured I'd make a video so we can see it together. All right, this is the um, course book. So you can get this for free on their website. There are a lot of pages, which is one of the reasons, I think like the download is 400 and something pages. This is one of the reasons I didn't want to print it out this is the binding so they don't have the spiral bind. I prefer this kind of bind um, for the books. All right. So it looks like they're all like perforated so you could tear them out if you want to. There's reference tables in the front. Frequently asked questions multiplication chart this is to keep track of your multiplication you could tear this out and post uh, hang that up if you wanted okay unit one overview oh hold on I wanted to show you that in the top it lists the supplies extra supplies needed for the lesson Lesson one, and it's laid out a lot like their language arts. Read this to the child, and then it's an open and go, just like their language arts, which is really nice. Lesson practice, then review activities. There's lesson two. We were using um, Easy Peasy Math, um, and we still really like Easy Peasy Math. Um, so we did Easy Peasy Math 2. We've used, um, this is with my daughter, uh, Alexis, and she used um, a Becca K and a Becca Math 1. And then we used Easy Peasy Math 2 last year. Um, she really liked um we use the online of Easy Peasy. So she really liked the book version um, of Mac doing doing it in a book like this versus doing it online. And so um, we were going to opt for Easy Peasy this year, again, just the offline version. But she does like to have like the colorful pictures and the um, fun things to do. And my, um, my sister used this math last year with a couple of her kids. And so this was recommended to me. And so I figured I would give it a shot this year um, and see how we like it versus um, their older math. Because the um, older Good and Beautiful math just didn't really, it didn't mesh well with us. So this looks really good. I love how bright and colorful their pictures always are. And so this looks like it's going to be really thorough and really good. Okay, so I believe there's like 120 lessons. Um, and there's a review in the back, a course assessment, and that's your lessons 119 and 120. So that is all back here. And then you have your appendix, which is your punch outs. And it tells you what's all inside there. Multiplication, C in frames, measurement, yardstick, um, telling time, sets of clocks, area tiles, fractions, gallons, pints, cups, crocodiles, um, area, and just the, the rest of the. And there's some tips for punching them out. And so there they are in the back. Okay. 
So that's the course book. Like I said, you can get this free online and print it out if you'd rather. Um, but for me, I already have a lot of printing to do this year, so I decided just to buy it. Okay, and this is the math box that goes with it. You can buy this math box if you decide to print this off. You can buy this separately, or you can um, you can make, I think online they have um, how to, or what you need to make these, or just to use what you have on hand. Okay, so let's see what's inside here. And then a little measuring tape here. Okay. All right, so I'll put that back on in a second. It also came with this little um, dry erase board, double-sided dry erase board. I have a bigger dry erase board hanging up that I planned on using, as I didn't know it came with this, um, but this would be handy for her. And then th the math course does not come with these, but this is like a recommended resource. We already have musical multiplication, but I decided to get these flashcards to use um, just as a little uh, more practice for her multiplication this year. So this is what they look like, and you just uh, fold them and tear them off because they have the little perforations like that so and these are already like cardstock laminated style cards all right so this is simply good and beautiful math three um if you have any questions about it or if you want to see you know more into the book or uh, more after we start doing it just leave it in the comments um, I'll try to answer any questions you have about it um, but I'm gonna leave a review um, probably when we get maybe halfway through this book probably um, what we think about it kind of update you guys on um, how we feel about the good and beautiful math compared to the other math we've used in the past um, let you know if we're going to continue to use it and all that good stuff. So, alrighty. Um, thank you for watching this video. Bye.